friends, so in today's tutorial you are going to learn how to paint this snowflake painting with simple tools. I'm using a 10 inch round wood circle. You could absolutely use a canvas or you could really apply this to anything. Um, and I'm using a 2 inch wide flat paintbrush to apply the base coat. Now this is uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Metallic acrylic paints in sapphire and deep sapphire are the colors, so one's just a little bit darker. And I'm starting with the darker color in the center and then I'm going to do the lighter color around the edge. But you really could just mix them however you want or you could just do one or the other. So whatever you like. You just want to get a good even coating. Um, I realized that I should have probably put my uh, kneaded eraser in the beginning of this before I started painting, but I hadn't thought of it until after the painting started shifting, so it works really well to keep your painting in one spot. So I do recommend those. Those are great little handy little tools. And then you do want to make sure it's really good and dry before you try to sand it or move on. Um, and I'm sanding, I'm trying to show you the little teeny tiny raised uh, prickly bits. Um, it's just a good idea to sand your uh, especially wooden you know wood circle and I was using a really fine grit sandpaper and you just want to do it pretty lightly now this is a three inch stencil and I'm just going to be drawing on six slices because snowflakes have six points and I'm really just picking a random spot um, this is my tool set and this is what I'll be using throughout this video you can find these in the dot art depot at www.artdepot.com. I will put a clickable link in this video's description below to help you be able to find that a little easier. Now I'm using the red tool for my center dot and I'm just swirling out the middle with um, my size 5 nail stylus. And then I'm going to be moving on to the darker purple size tool. And I'm going to be placing a dot on each of the guidelines now you want to get your dot as close to the center dot as you can without running into it. So give yourself some space if you're new to dotting and you're not really you know, used to how far out the paint's going to spread. Um, or practice on the side a little bit before you know, jumping right in. It's not a big deal. I mean it, it helps to see how far out the paint's going to go and, and so forth. So practice is always a good thing. Um, for the next size down, it's going to be the light purple tool right next to each of those, so right on the spokes. And then I'm going to follow up with two dots with the dark blue tool. So they just kind of descend in size. And do that to each of the six points. And I'm using a paint called Sterling Silver. Now this is also um, extreme sheen metallic deco art paint. The next one is called sky blue topaz and it's more of just like an accent color and I wasn't trying to go all blue um, I really wanted to stick with the white. If you hear snoring that is legitimate snoring that is my chihuahua dog Pablo he is under my table he does snore quite loud um, and then so I use my largest nail stylus to place a dot right in between each of the spokes and then my smallest nail stylus to kind of just grab a little bit of paint and pull it outward. And here I am going to do the same thing on the tips, the very tips. So you're going to go one straight out and then one to each side. So just dip your tool, push down as if you're going to make a dot, and then just leave it down and drag it straight outward. I would definitely suggest getting a little bit of practice swiping as well um, because it depends on your substrate whether it's going to pull straight out and go real far or just kind of go a little teeny tiny bit. Um, it's really hard to say. You just kind of have to try with each of the different um, you know materials that you're using the metallic paint made it a little slicker so it was able to slide quite far and pull the tail you know quite far 
Um, here I'm using my size 2 nail stylus and I'm going to the base of the second dot from the end and I'm going to dot out like I think it was seven times and I just kind of follow the um, the path of the, the little swipes and then I'm going to do the same thing with the size 1 nail stylus which is the smallest one I have um, and I'm going to dot right in between the little tips and it can go as you know as many as you can go. I think with these tools, I only get about you know five or six dots before the paint pretty much runs out. All right, and that metallic paint is so pretty. It's really hard to see, and it's really hard to capture on camera, but it's really really beautiful paint. It just shimmers. I'm going to stick another snowflake to the side of this large one. Um, so I'm using my stencil again and I'm going to go with the dark blue tool and I'm not going to place a center dot at all here I'm just going to be going like around as if there were a center dot and I found with that tool and this stencil that works um, to get six dots around just perfectly um, you can use the guidelines for your placement um, and then I am taking the black tool of mine and I made five dots going out and I think the best way to 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 swipe out at the end I'm using the size 2 nail stylus and I'm swiping out the very last dot I would suggest doing that as you go because the paint by the time you get around to it it can dry up a little bit and be a little bit harder to you know to smear so I just do five dots and then I smear out the last one make little tails and I'm going to go back with that same black tool and place a dot right in between each of the spokes and swipe each of those out now since there was only five I was able to just lay the dots real down real quick and, uh, and go with it and then with the same black tool um, place a dot right on um, or in between the two last dots there on each spoke and then swipe those out just the same technique here I really love this design I looked at it afterwards and I thought it was a really pretty really pointy design but it just seemed really appropriate for a snowflake so I went with it I tried a few different ones I had one that was um, more round you know rounded all around and I just didn't think it fit really well with this uh, this set of snowflakes so I didn't use that one but um, I went with all spiky ones so um, here it is the size one nail stylus which is the very smallest one and dotting out from the what is it the fourth one down right underneath the third dot above the fourth dot and just dot straight out now before moving on to this part, you want to make sure your painting is really good and dry. I'm going to put some of the same blue um, on the largest snowflake for top dots. So I did a center dot with the green tool and then I'm using my pink tool to put a dot on top of the first ring of dots around the center with that same, I think it's called sky blue sky blue topaz that's it um, and then for the next dot out I'm using just the black tool and just putting a little bit on and that was as far as I went out with the with the blue highlighting um, and then I'm moving on to the last snowflake and I wanted to get some top dots on because after I paint all this I am going to brush over it with um, some glitter paint and then I'm going to add some random blue dots throughout just because I thought it added a little bit of depth and some beautiful sparkle which you can never go wrong with too much sparkle right so I wanted that paint to be good and dry so that's why I did that alright for the last little snowflake here I just started with a center dot and then I swiped out made six little tails so right on the guidelines 
Um, and then I'm using the size 2 nail stylus to dot straight out from each of the tails and then a swipe in from each of the tail ends and then a swipe inward in between each of the spokes there. And that's all with the size 2. And I make one little dot right at the tip. And then I'm using my size 1, and I'm going to make three little teeny tiny swipes right in towards the little dot at the tip there. You could definitely change it up however you want. These are pretty easy to, to uh, come up with. They're all very pretty. Um, and then I did notice some blank space there, and some people like the negative space, and that's perfectly fine. If you like it, just leave it. I wanted to add a little you know, highlight here and there, so I just added a, a couple really basic snowflakes uh, throughout. Not too many. I didn't want to take away from the main stars here, which are the three larger snowflakes. Plus, they kind of look, you know, more up close and then some are further away. And that's what you would expect to see if you look out your window on a snowy night. So that's just what I went with. And again, you can switch it up however you would like. Just make it your own and have fun, you know. All right, so here I am taking my size 5 nail stylus, and I'm just going to be placing a few dots just random throughout here and there, and this just adds a little bit more depth to the piece. Some snowflakes are further out still. All right, make sure your painting is good and dry, but this here is called Galaxy Glitter, and this one is the Clear Ice Comet color, so it's really white, um, and... Well, I can't say it's white, it's clear, and it's got like white glitter, but even the glitter, you know, has sparkles, but you'll see in the store. But I just wanted to add a little bit of sparkle and shine on here. Um, nothing to overpower the rest of the painting, though, so that's why I was trying to do it, you know, just sparingly. Um, and the last step here, and you do want to, again, make sure it's good and dry. It dries pretty quick. Um, the sapphire paint, which is what we use on the very edge of the painting, it's a little bit lighter than the deep blue, which is the majority of the painting, um, and that's what I'm going to just add random dots of, and it looks like snowflakes falling in, you know, the shadow. So I'm just going to go random here with them. I'm not going to do every single little space. I'm just going to put a few on here and there different sizes. My largest being the, you know, dark blue tools what I used and then the size 5 nail stylus. I dot about two or three times with that. That's about it. And here is the finished piece. Uh, you do want to make sure that the painting is good and dry before you varnish it. I have a video on how to uh, protect your painting. If you haven't seen that, you can click here. And I hope you enjoy this step-by-step -step tutorial. You can see those sparkles. Beautiful! Hey, if you did like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That just lets me know that you would like to see more like it. Um, if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. You can check out all of my other Dot Mandala tutorials. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you are notified for when I upload my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.